Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Tenekin, and welcome back to another Subnautica Hardcore video. This is episode 3 of our Subnautica Hardcore series. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Okay, so um, this is episode 3, and I think, oh, an eclipse. That's great timing. So um, for this episode, I think we're going to be exploring, and I know the aurora is going to blow up in this episode, so that's going to be kind of cool. So we got a new Seamoth last episode, which we can use to... To explore these two life pods, which we can get more blueprints and stuff, which is going to be very useful. So, let's get some food and we'll get on that right away. Alright, we're here. So, this is life pod 17. There is a Seamoth fragment here. There's a PDA. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, I think. But what I want to also do is I want to... I also want to build nearby here. I want to build a base in the jelly shroom caves. I think that would be really cool to do. And there are uh, thermal vents down there, which means we can actually use thermal plants to get power, which is kind of cool. And we shouldn't run out of power ever. And I th honestly, it would just be a really cool place to build a base. And I've always wanted to build one there. So I think we'll build that, build a base there at some point. Oh yeah, these things, these like little thermal spire things. Just it just goes straight down. It's three hundred meters, so uh I didn't think about that. It's three hundred meters down. My seamoth can only go two hundred meters. Maybe I should have gotten okay, well whatever. I guess we're going down anyway. Oh yes, this wreck. Alright, this is the wreck. This is the um this is the wreck where you can get a lot of stuff. And I think yep, there's prawn Ah 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 no, no, no. okay, yeah yeah. This is a good wreck, so we can just stay here, and we can scan and stuff. There's a data box here, I forget what this is. Uh, vehicle upgrade console, that's going to be useful. Okay, I think those are moon pool fragments, which is useful. That's going to be good. I want a moon pool, yes, good. Oh, and right there, I think that's the last moon pool fragment. Yes, now we can make a moon pool. Oh, that's just a thermal plant. Oh, oh, that's the last moon pool fragment. Okay, there. Now we can make it. Let's go. That's really good. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, um, the aurora exploding. Oh uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to get up in ten seconds. So, oh well, it exploded while I was underwater. Oh, okay. That was a little bit underwhelming. Uh. It's a bit of a shame I didn't get to see the explosion, but I guess it is what it is. The, ex the aurora did just explode just now. Oh, there's alien vents down there. Um, so that's nice, I guess. Okay, now that I think we've picked everything clean from here, I think we can start trying to head over to the life pod, but that's really deep. And I don't have enough ox- I don't know if I'm gonna have enough oxygen to make it down there. So I'm gonna try and see if I can make it down there. If not, well then, we guess we'll come back here when we have a better oxygen tank. Okay, it is possible to get down there, but the problem is I literally can only be down there for like two seconds before I have to go back up. So I'm going to try and get as much stuff as I can down there, and then we'll go back. Oh, I found a time capsule! Let's go! Oh, that's so good. That's actually so good. Alright, we're going to see what we got from that in a minute. After I get back to my Seamoth. Oh god, that is actually really good. Let's go. What do we get? Yo, that is actually some good loot. Like, we got Ion Cubes, Magnetite. I am going to take that. Thank you, kind stranger, whoever gave me that. Let me read that, too. What did it say? Time capsules. In here lies some critical resources from my journey. You may not need them yet, but you all... But you might also need them soon. Take care, stranger. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright. So, I think I've picked clean basically everything from down there. I think we can head back now. I got... I got rubies. I got... Gel sack. I got the PDA. Uh... I got the... The data box. So, I think we're good. I think we can head back up. Alright, we're back at the base. So, I was able to get a lot of materials... While I was doing that, so I think we can start exploring and maybe searching for 
fragments so we can create a laser cutter and propulsion cannon. So next episode we can go to the Aurora, which should be fun. So I think I'm going to do that and I will come back when I have all of those, or at least most of them. Alright, so I did get enough to make a laser cutter while I was cutting, but unfortunately I am out of time for to make this episode for today. So I think we'll end this video off now. Next episode we'll get enough for a propulsion cannon. And then we're going to go to the Aurora, and then episode after that, episode 5, I think we'll explore the Aurora and come back. So, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.